Typhoon Hinnomnor, Super Typhoon Hinnomnor, currently active right now uh, in the Western Pacific Basin with winds right now 150 miles per hour, gusts of 185 miles per hour right now. Uh, the Super Typhoon is currently rated a Category 4. Um, storm says this storm system, uh, ra although rather compact right now, will be gaining uh, a lot of size uh, as it uh, moves toward the Japanese Ryukyu Islands. Uh, over the next couple of days, it's going to drag south, and it's actually going to uh, combine the, this tropical system down here to the south that's developing. is going to uh, move north uh, after um, tropical after uh, Super Typhoon Hinnomnor has passed into the Ryukyu Islands. Um, as the storm, as the uh, Hinnomnor's um, influence gets larger and larger uh this tropical cyclone would likely get its wind field likely get caught uh in um the influence of super typhoon Hinnomnor, uh making Hinnomnor a lot larger possibly so i will show that right here on the uh forecast models um so here we are uh this is t uh, super typhoon Hinnomnor located uh, just to, to the west, to the east here, here of uh, the um, Japanese Ryukyu Islands uh, right now. Uh, and then this system here in the Philippine Sea is that other disturbance. So Hinnomnor will move uh, in a westward direction. Uh, the next disturbance will move in behind it. Uh, the influence of Hinnomnor begins to grow, uh, dragging uh, in... Uh, the tropical cyclone into its wind field and ultimately making Hinnomnor a lot larger. And then Hinnomnor will move toward the north, uh, heading toward uh, South Korea, which get, could impact as a significant typhoon uh, as, at a landfall. And even as this, and then heading into Russia, uh, even as this storm, um, as this storm rapidly loses its uh, shape and moves into that those parts of Russia, the storm still remains some decent strong winds, some of them up to 50, mile, 50 60 miles per hour or so uh, in between these uh, two land masses of Russia at this point in time. So that is what things look like right now in terms of uh, the GFS model forecast. Uh, here we are with the forecasted track. Uh, the storm system uh, might gain a little bit more strength, uh, maybe up to 155 miles per hour. It is possible that it may be hit, might hit 160, which would make it a Category 5. And if it does so, could bring uh, wind gusts of nearly 200 miles per hour in the area. But then it will weaken as it makes that southward turn, uh, weakening down below a major typhoon, just barely below as it passes east of Taiwan. And then as it heads into the East China Sea, uh, getting back to a uh, major typhoon, back up from uh, its short life as a Category 2, uh, back up to Category 3. And here on after for the uh, forecasted track, we don't have it that is that that we don't have it that far. But generally, what we saw with the models, this storm is going to head into South Korea and could make landfall there as a significant typhoon. I would not be surprised if this one intensifies to a Category 4 or nearly a Category 4 before hitting uh, Korea. That does not mean it will hit Korea as a Category 4, but in the South, uh, so, sorry, the East China Sea, it might, uh, it could get Category 4 briefly before making landfall.